Hey guys, Davey here from PhoneBluff.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your Android phone more secure using Android's built-in security settings. So the way you do it is go over to your settings options and from here scroll down to where it says security and from here you can see you have a whole bunch of options to make your phone a little bit more secure. First of which is the screen lock. Obviously, you know, this prevents other people from getting into your phone if they don't know the password. So we'll just go ahead and set one really quick. We'll just do a pattern and uh, just hit next really quick and I'll draw a quick pattern, hit continue, draw a quick pattern, confirm. So now basically uh, it's gonna lock, as soon as I lock my screen, um, I think it said five seconds, so I'm just gonna wait five seconds. All right, so now when I go to unlock my screen, tap on this guy, you can see it's asking for a password, can't get into the phone unless I press that guy, so type in a password and there you go. Um, so that's one way. Now you can make the pattern not visible, so that way you know if somebody's you know over your shoulder, they won't be able to see your password, which is obviously a good idea because you know if they see it, they'll be able to memorize it pretty easily. So that's another thing I recommend. Now another thing you should do is go to your owner info and enter your information. So tap the uh, checkbox and say put your name and maybe a contact number other than your phone. So if you ever lost your phone and someone else found it, you know they won't be able to get into it but they would be able to see your information. So say for example, I put in my uh, email address or something like that, so some way that someone could contact me if they found my phone, I could just hit that, let's go back, and uh, now if I lock my phone, you can see it has my name right here. Obviously if I had my email address, you know, if somebody found my phone, obviously they can't get in because they don't know my password, but they know my email address, and that way they can email me and contact me to, uh, get it back. So anyway, you can see it doesn't show the uh, pattern by the way. Anyway, we'll go down and uh, same thing with passwords, make it non-visible so that way when you're typing in your passwords to your, maybe your bank accounts or email accounts or whatever it is, someone looking over your shoulder won't be able to tell what you're typing in. Um, another thing is your unknown sources. Uh, don't let you know other applications or applications not from Google Play to be installed unless you're sure. So I like to leave this guy unchecked just in case I accidentally stumble upon something that tries to install my phone because the ones from Google Play are gonna be more secure and you know typically aren't gonna be malicious. Um, and uh, other things you could do is encrypt your phone. Now this is if you're looking for like a lot of protection on your information. Um, encrypting does take a while, it says it could take up to an hour. So you actually have to plug in your phone to the charger before you could actually do this. Um, basically it does is encrypts all your information, sets a password, so when you turn on your phone, you actually have to decrypt it every single time. It's the best way to get you know encryption on your information so that way it's, your information is safe. But it does take quite a bit of time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that for now. And uh, the last thing I wanna show you is the SIM card lock. Because this is a GSM phone, you can actually set a lock on the SIM card itself, so if someone found your phone, they can't just pull out your SIM card and use it on another phone. But the reason why I'm not gonna do or demonstrate this right now is because I don't know the password to my SIM card because my carrier did put a password and if I try to guess what it is uh, a couple of times, it's gonna lock my SIM card, basically making my SIM card you know, no good. And I definitely don't want that. So I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you know the uh, SIM card's password or PIN already. So that way you don't have to uh, worry about um, messing it up. But that's pretty much it for me in this video. Um, you know, these doing a, a few of these basic things can make your phone a lot more secure and a lot less like it from other people getting into it and you know taking your information. But that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.